good day. We're about to present our chosen itinerary and our group has decided to pick the seven days best of Japan cruise from Royal Caribbean. The cruise will be exploring Japan's beautiful ski escapade while enjoying themselves with the amenities and other activities in the ship. Next. To discuss the ports, here are Job and Anjo. So for the first port of the seven-day cruise is the Taijin port. So the Taijin port is the largest port in northern China and the main maritime gateway to Beijing. So the Taijin Xinjiang fairway is divided into the main shipping channel, the Xuanzang Dong channel, and the northern branch channel, as well as the Dagusha channel and the Haihe River channel. And separate fairways is slightly different regulations. And then for the next port is the Fukuoka Japan Cruise Port. So the Fukuoka Cruise Ship Terminal is located at the Bayside place and close, it is close to the city. And then here docks all the cruise ships as well as the regular scheduled ferries and all the harbor tour boats. The terminal building hosts restaurants, boutique shops, and also a huge aquarium with 1,200 species. So for day four, Sakai Port. The Sakai Port is a natural harbor sheltered by the Chimane Peninsula on the north. Geographically, it's situated almost exactly in midway between the Chusuguro Port and Shimono Sakai Port. And due to its location, um, the Sakai Port uh, plays an important role to the economies of the Hanshin, Sanyu, and Kyushu regions. Next port. Next will be the Kyoto port. The Kyoto port is located at Maizuru, Kyoto Prefecture. Um, it is the home to the one of the three most famous natural sites in Japan. And it's a place called Amano Hashidate and other natural and historical landmarks. This port is considered as the northern gateway to the World Heritage Site and the historic, the historic mountain of ancient Kyoto. Next port. I will be discussing about the description of the Royal Caribbean Cruise Ship International Voyager of the Seas. So Voyager of the Seas is ideal for cruisers seeking an innovative mega ship experience. The Voyager of the Seas offers 1,557 comfortably sized cabins, 757 of which sport verandas. An incredible area of amenities await travelers aboard from an aquarium bar to a miniature golf course and an ice skating rink. So the Voyager of the Seas ship profile and stats would be this. The cruise line is Royal Caribbean cruise ship. The ship type is cruise ship, mainstream line class, and registry is in Bahamas. The ship was built in 1999 and the, the last year's refurbish was 2014. The capacity of the, seas, of the ship is 4,269 passengers and has 14 decks. The gross tonnage is 137,276 and the length of the ship is 1,020 feet, while the beam is 157.5 feet. The average speed is 22 knots. The inside cabins is 642, while the outside cabins is 1,001. The nationality of officers is Norwegian and the nationality of the crew is international. And the total number of crew is 1,176. So next, offshore excursions at the seven night best of Japan cruise. So in Beijing, Tianjin, China, the only part of Tianjin where one can visit the Great Wall is Jikishan County. So tourists can climb a 1,400 year old section of the Great Wall or they can wander through Jinmen Gali, the ancient cultural part or street where they will find shops selling traditional jade handicrafts 
and architecture dating back to the 1600s. So next is in Tianjin Museum. So tourists can gain a better historical perspective of Tianjin, home to ancient cultural artifacts. And then tourists can also shop in 700-year-old Nanlu Goshang Alley or the city's massive silk market. So next is in Fukuoka, Japan. So in Fukuoka Castle, tourists can explore the 17th century ruins of Fukuoka Castle. And then after that, tourists can head to the central Hata district, home to Tochaji Temple, where a 10-meter wooden Buddha sits. So next. So in Sakai Minato, Japan, tourists can head to Daisinoki National Park where they can hike up volcanic Mount, da Mount Daisen, stopping for areas inside Daisenji Buddhist Temple, which lies halfway to the summit. Kyoto, Maizuru, Japan. Maizuru has a collection of mountainside temples, pristine beaches, and historical museum. In Kyoto, Tourists can check out the Maizuru Red Bricks Park, a series of warehouses built with striking red bricks instead of traditional wood. As of today, it is cur currently served as a museum. Tourists can also take a peek at the nearby naval ship floating in the bay. At the nearby, there is a Monahashi Dati Sandbar, which is translated as Bridge in Heaven. It is a three kilometer long that connected to Mayazu Bay, both side has a temple and tourists can enjoy walking in the fine white sand and can explore to the nearby Kitehama beach. Next. Tourists can go to the central Kyoto, which is about 90 minutes drive from the port, where tourists can walk among the red Tori gate of Fushimi in a Hari Taisha shrine and climb to the top of Kyoto tower and enjoy the 360 degree view of Kyoto. Next. In the last day of the trip, tourists can explore the places and activities that they miss in Beijing, Tianjin, China. Tourists can visit the church to admire the Roman and French-inspired architecture and northern China's largest Catholic church. After that, tourists can treat themselves a mouth-watering gobolli-steamed stuffed bun of Tianjin. Next. So next are the activities inside the cruise ship at the Seven Night Best of Japan Cruise. So first is teen spaces. So teens get an exclusive lunch to hold their own with music, movies, and gaming, and even an outdoor patio to hang out. So next is flow rider. So tourists can grab a board and get ready for 30,000 gallons water rushing their way. So next is the perfect storm. So if you are up for adventure, get ready to race through twists, turns, and next level drills on the boldest slides at sea. So next is ice skating. So children and adults are invited to strap on a pair of skates and show off their moves on board. So next. Inside the cruise ship, there are a bunch of dining where tourists can experience. There is Izumi Sushi and Hot Rocks, where tourists can experience a flavorful meat cooked perfectly on Isiyaki grilling stone. They also serve roll sushi, fresh sashimi, and delegate nijiri. In the main dining room, tourists can experience a motel-level restaurant where tourists can experience flavors that takes tourists from Jamaica to Jaipur. Next. In the other hand, there is a dining called Chef's Table. It is the most exclusive and elevated dining experience on the trip where tourists can join on private Epicurean journey led by the chief chef de cuisine. If tourists is not comfortable in exclusive dining, there is a dining called Cafe Promenade. It is a quick and easy come and go eats with a complimentary hotspot bustle 24 hours a day. Next. Now let's move on to the rates of the package. The cruise will be departing on two dates, one of one on May 2021 and in the other is August 2021, both with different prices on each room categories. For interior stateroom, the price costs 553 US dollars and the other is 770 US dollars. On the ocean view stateroom, it costs 692 US dollars and the other is 956 US dollars. 
on the balcony stateroom, it costs 860 US dollars and the other is 1,159 US dollars. And lastly, for the suite deluxe stateroom, it costs 990 US dollars and the other is 1,323 US dollars. Next, the interior stateroom. This well-appointed stateroom offers everything you need for a comfortable voyage, offering all the feature of a standard room plus a bowed window overlooking the promenade. Next, the ocean view stateroom. In an ocean view stateroom, passenger will be treated to a beautiful new view every day of, a, of the ocean and the ship. Next, the balcony stateroom. Passenger would be waking up every morning, opening their balcony door and being greeted with views of, of a brand new and breathtaking scenery from the ocean and the ship. And next, lastly, the suite and deluxe stateroom. It is a spacious and comfortable stateroom for those people who want to lodge in a luxurious room. The room also gives additional perks to those people who, are, who will avail of it, such as concierge service, priority boarding, and departure privileges, and dedicated entertainment seating. Everything you need for a lavish voyage is at your fingertips. Next. So these are the amenities included to all stateroom. Next. I think that's all. Thank you for listening for us. Arigotou gozaimasu.